this video, we are going to continue with graphs of functions. You will find this on page 265 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. Fx equals x to the power of 3. So this is a cubic function. Draw the graph from negative 3 to 3. Use a scale of 2 cm to represent 1 unit on the x-axis and 2 cm to represent 10 units on the y-axis. Okay, so basically you must create your own table. Just take negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Don't take only 3 uh, values. Take more than 3 because it's a curve. Then do your substitution. Then plot all your points and then freehand make your curve. Okay. Now, use your graph to solve fx equals negative 20. Now, actually, it's saying y. Y equals negative 20. <clears throat> so, how do I do that one? I just basically... Going to my y-axis at negative 20, where it intersects with my curve, I just draw it up and I just read it down. And that's negative 2.8. And then this one, don't forget, if it's the inverse, it's actually meaning x is equal to 1.7 due to the inverse. So go to... And the x-axis, 1.7, until it um, intersects with my graph, then draw it down, and that will give me 5. And then the next one, the equation can be solved by drawing one straight line. Now, this is very important. I'm just going to clean that. Don't forget this. And now, basically what they did is they took another function and they already substitute the one into the other one. So what you must do is you must separate the two functions. So there is the one. Can you see? So that one is the one. Then that means that this one will be the other one. So and don't forget, substitute it's already. So to break it up that it's almost like one function is on this side, then it's equal, and then the other function is on this side. So basically, take the other one to the other side. So take this negative 5x over, and it becomes positive 5x. Take the negative 1 over, and it becomes positive 1. So by doing that, you are separating the two functions. So that's what I do there. I just take it over, take it over, and I just want to show you here. Here I did it. So, but this, therefore this, and then I'm just taking it over. So there is my other function. Now, I must draw this straight line. They say, write down the equation of this straight line. There it is. Draw the line and write down the three solutions. So now, create again your table. So there is your table. This negative three, zero, three because that's your extreme value there and your extreme value there and a the middle. Then work it out, plot the points, draw the line. And now draw the line and the three solutions. The solutions will be where it touch the two graphs intersect. So it's that point, which is negative 2.2, that point, which is negative 0.3, and this point, which is 2.4. And that will be your answer. Okay, I want you to stop the video. Just go to the next page. Stop the video and do try now 27. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, in this case, they gave you the graph, the, the curve. They didn't tell you the equation, but they gave you the curve. And now they start. The diagram shows the accurate graph of y equals fx. Use with the graph to find f0. So at, don't forget, it's the x value. So it's almost like saying x is 0. So you go to the x-axis at 0, and then you draw up until it intersects with the graph, and then you read down. So this is 1, 
two, three. So this is going to be, and let me just write that. That is going to be y is equal to three. Okay, then the next one. F8, so again, it's almost like x is equal to 8. So if I look, I go to the x-axis, I go at 8, and I go until I intersect, and then I go. So I think in this case, let's just, let's just do it a bit better. I'm just using a straight line. So the problem a little bit with this pin is that it's a bit thick. And that can influence a little bit the value. So in this case, it's going to be negative. Remember, two blocks is counting one. So it's negative one, negative two, negative three. Now, this is negative four with my pin. But it can be a little bit upper. But in this case, it's y is equal to negative four. Oh, let's just get that pin correct. Okay, number B. Use your graph to solve. Now, in this case, just want to take both of them. In this case, they are telling you y is equal to zero. So go where the y axis is zero, which is there, and then you just go to your graph, and if you go to your graph, so y equals zero, okay, so it will be a line so there is y zero, so it will be this line. Oh, again the pin. So from z y equals zero, draw your line, okay, like this was the line, now it's a horizontal line, and where it intersects, and then I'm going to just write down that values, then it's going to be x equals, okay, let's, let's see, this it's counting um, 0 0.2. So it's negative 1.246. So this will be x is negative 1.6, but it's having two intersections. Or x equals, and in this case, it will be, okay, let's just see, or x equals 2. Okay. Oh, and I, I'm picking something up. That line, you must really draw that line the whole way through. Because look there, it's again, in, it's intersecting how many times? Three times. So, or x is equal to, and now it will be 8.246, 8.6. Okay, now the next one. If x equals 5, so again it is y equals 5. So draw that line y equals 5. Now if you do, do that, you will find it's here. And again, where it intersects, then you just go down. So it's 9.2. Two. It looks like 9.2. So x Okay, and then number C K is the integer for which the equation has exactly two solutions. Use your graph to find the two values of k. Okay. Now, it will have, did you see, one, two, three. So one, two, three. But when it will have two, and I'm, I guess let's just use green. It will be on, just get a ruler, on that turning point. It's a bit high. There it will only have one, two. And on this turning point, One, two. So that will be where the value of k will be. Now I just have to see it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
to 3, where the value of k is 3, or the, the, where the value of k, okay, and let's just see, oh, there it is. So that's 2 up, so it's negative 9. That is the two places on the turning points, 1, 2, 1, 2. Otherwise, in between, it's having 3, and above this, it's just having 1. Below this, it's just having 1. Okay, solution. And then number D, write down the range of values of X for which the graph has a negative gradient. Now, you must always look, it's like this. There the gradient will be positive. There it's zero. Then it will be negative, zero, positive. So it will be negative from here to there. Okay, so let's just go on. And what will that be? That will be x. Okay, not on the turning point. So I already have the turning points. Uh, what was that turning? No, this one was at zero. It's not, it's not the y value, it's the x value. So zero. And this turning point was at six. So between x is bigger than zero, smaller than six then the gradient will be negative. But on 0 and on 6, exactly on 0 and 6, it will, the gradient will be 0 because that's on the turning points. Then the next one, the equation can be solved by drawing a line on the grid. So actually they helped you, they didn't give you the whole equation, but if you look here, let me just write it down. So it's going to be fx plus x minus 1 equals 0. So this is going to be fx, there's the 1. Now take the other one to the other side. So by breaking it up, look here. If I take it over, negative x. If I take it over, positive 1. So the 1 is y equals fx. That's the one lot, the curve. This one sorry, is y equals negative x plus 1. There's your other line. So can be solved by drawing one on the right on the equation of this line. So therefore, this is the equation. And then I, this is the first one. And then the second one, how many solutions are there in this? Okay, so, I, um, so the first thing, I have to draw the line. So if I draw the line, I must create. So there, they will not tell you, you have to think. I'm just going to draw quickly the line. This is x, this is y. Now my values go from... Um, I think from negative 2 it will be all right. And then it will be 0 and it will be 10. So just substitute. So if you substitute here, then it will be 3. 0, it will be 1. Negative 10 plus 1 it will be negative 9. And now I'm going to plot it here on my graph. Now I think before I plot it, because I can do it now, and if you did it in pencil, you can also clean it, because it was just helping to get that answer. Okay, and now it's negative 2 and 3. So negative 2 and 3. Okay, so it's 1. Uh, there will be 3. So it's 1, 2, 3. And then 0 and 1. And then 10 and negative 9. Okay. And then I'm just going to do it. So in this create complete, 
and the, oh, the, how many solutions are there? There are, I, I would just want to show you the ways the solutions. This one, this another one, this. They just said how many. They did not ask you what is the solutions. So there are three solutions. If they ask you um, find the solutions, you will just go to your x-axis, read it down, go to your x-axis, read it down, go to your x-axis and read it down. And that's how you do it. Okay, let's go on with the video. Um, I think I'm going to do this in a separate video. So this is not quadratic function. Yes, actually it is a quadratic function, but it's just another way of asking it. So in the next video, I will continue with this example.